off your shoes and sit back because this is one of my rant videos, y'all. This is a rant video. So just lay down and relax and just listen. I want you all to notice a standing pattern when it comes down to the Caucasoids. Whenever there is a mass shooting, I want you to notice their standing pattern of coming to attack Black people. They do it every single time, like clockwork. I don't care what mass shooting goes on in America. They always come to Black people to talk about Black on Black crime and talk about we're killing each other and all that stuff. We have crime just like every other group in this country have crime, but they try to, and the media is largely responsible for this, try to play up like the crime going on in the black community is the worst crime going on in the whole country. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not true. It is a form of deflecting so that you never come back and look at what the white community is actually doing. Because white crime is going through the roof in America. And the reason why it is, is because they don't get in trouble for nothing. If you never got in trouble for the crimes that you commit, of course the crime is gonna go through the roof. You have nothing to lose by committing that crime. And see, the courts in this country have already told white people it's okay to kill us and get away with it. It's also told the cops in America the same thing. So what reason would they have not to commit crimes? None. None. So I like when they come out with these articles talking about black homicides. And I'm going to go over this and I want to I want you to notice one thing. They are in a sense telling the truth, but they're lying at the same time. See, it's it's the same way they educate in America. They teach you part of the truth and then mix in lies. That's why I reject any form of teaching from white people now. Whenever I want to learn something, I just simply go online and figure it out myself. I don't want them in front of me teaching a damn thing ever again. I don't want it. Okay. If they were going to educate us right, they would have done it right from day one. The fact that we got 97% white female teachers in the black neighborhood and the education is poor should tell that that really should tell it all right there. They're in the black community to sabotage it, not to educate and make sure you know where their standing is on white supremacy. All white female teachers in the black neighborhood are white supremacists, all of them. And they want to see to it that your black child never catch up to their white kids. But if you teach your kids at home, they can't stop you from catching up and, and far exceeding them. They can't stop you from doing it. That's the thing that we have to realize. They can't stop you from getting an education and learning. They can't. And they can't stop you from excelling past them. Technically, they can't do anything about it. But try to sabotage you some more. <laughs> I mean, really, that's really the only defense they have. So we don't ignore the homicides that go on in the black community. We do talk about it and we're fully aware of it. 
We just don't talk about it to white people. And that's what you really want. See, they want black people to sit down and talk to them about this stuff and we're not doing it. And it's disturbing the hell out of them. They want us whining and crying in front of them about what we do in our communities and we're not doing it. That's why they keep coming around talking about black on black crime because they're pissed off that we won't have this conversation with them. And my black brothers and sisters continue to walk away from these conversations because they're not concerned about black on black crime. They just want to hear about this stuff so they can try to shame you. But after looking at white history, there's no possible way they can shame us. No possible way they can do it. Their history is probably one of the worst on the entire earth. It's nothing but a blood riddled, heinous, nasty, one of the nastiest histories you ever want to see. But see, they have to keep deflecting like this so you don't look at who they are. Every mass shooting, the subject of black on black crime comes up. The subject of Chicago, despite the fact that Chicago is not even among the top 10 worst cities in America. So, you know, they're fabricating the whole thing about Chicago. So let's look at what they wrote in this article, this non-white person that wrote this article, I mean, non-black person. FBI released its official crime tally for 2016 on Monday. And the data, um, this is what it's saying. The professional black athletes should pay attention to the homicide, but here's the problem. In this number that they give you, they're rolling all homicides up. They're not filtering out the non-Black people that killed Black people too. They're rolling it all up into this number and calling it Black on Black crime. So it says in 2016 compared, uh, it was 900 additional people killed in 2016 compared to 2015, bringing the Black homicide total I want you to listen to this number, 7,881 black bodies. All right. So this is what they're saying that died in 2016, you know, black homicides. All right. So let's accept this as the number. You know, they're rolling up a lot in those numbers. And we know a lot of cops have killed black people. And we know that <clears throat> a lot of non-Black people come into the Black neighborhood and shoot our people, okay? It's a fact. We, we in the Black community, we know this. White people will come and tell you you're making up excuses, but their asses don't live in the Black community. So just dismiss anything that they're saying. So let's accept this number ladies and gentlemen, let's say this number was black people killing other black people. But let's go over here to the white community. Now, let me go here first. Now, most of the opioid deaths are white. Now, I know some of y'all have stepped forward and said black people are dying too. Let me tell you something. This epidemic has been going on for 20 years. Even if black people were getting on opioids now, we could never, ever exceed the amount of white people on the drug. We couldn't. They had a 20-year head start in this addiction. 20 years. So even if black people are getting on opioids now, we could never exceed that. Never. Never. And plus, when you look at the FBI table, I believe it's 83% of drug crimes in America are white. Okay. We, we're not doing drugs at 83% in the black community. 
So there's no comparison. It's like apples and oranges that you're trying to compare. It's overwhelmingly white. All right. Self-inflicted. This is self-inflicted. They're doing this to themselves. It was white doctors that overprescribed to white patients and underprescribed to black patients. It is white people going out in the streets. The majority are white getting the heroin and the fentanyl and the cocaine. This is white people doing that stuff and overdosing and dying. So now we have the number for the homicides in the black community, 7,881. So I want you to take notice to this, 175 drug deaths per day in the white community, mainly white people. Now, if you take 175 times 30, that's 5,200 and 50 deaths in one month. Now, if you times that by two, that's 10,500 deaths in two months. So in a less than a two month period, the white community have exceeded the deaths in the black community just in less than two short months just from drug deaths, just from drug deaths. Now remember, they gave us the number 7,881 black homicides, right? So now let's add that up for the entire year. So that's 63,000 deaths predominantly white dying from drug overdoses in America. Now, remember, they gave us the number of homicides in the black community as 7,881 black bodies, okay? This is the number they gave us. But look at their drug deaths alone, self-inflicted, doing this to themselves. 63,000 in one year. If it's 175 per day, hey, they put this stuff out. We didn't put this stuff out about them. They put this stuff out about themselves. So they pass us in deaths. Remember, they said that they consider these deaths murders. That's why all drug deaths in this country are homicide. They're calling it a crime. They're calling these drug deaths a crime, y'all. And none of the fault goes on to the drug addict like it did during the crack epidemic. So in drug deaths alone, Whites have far exceeded deaths in the black community. We haven't even looked at white homicide. We don't have to look at it. You know why? Because that has far exceeded the black community. When you add up their drug deaths on top of the homicides in the white community, whites killing other whites. Remember, I think, what, 84% of white people kill other white people? They pass our deaths, ladies and gentlemen, in leaps and bounds. They don't need to come to us to say a damn thing after every goddamn mass shooting. Now, they make it seem like every second of the day we are killing each other. In fact, I've seen their posts saying that black people kill each other every second of the day. No, we don't. Because if we killed each other every second of the day, we would be way past 7,881 deaths we would be well past that number. 
But it's amazing. They go way past that number, but they want to come and talk to us. Just understand, ladies and gentlemen, it's a deflection tactic. They come at us like this because they don't want you looking at them. Don't fall for it. Don't listen to this black on black crime anymore. Especially once you see these numbers. Don't pay attention to that crap. They are attempting to take the spotlight off of them after all of these mass shootings and put it on to black people. And it's not working. It's not working. They think it's working. It's really you know, I even had, like I said, it was one white poster that came into my comment section and they said every single post white people are putting in this comment section is irrelevant. And they were right. It, it was about Nick Cruz and they came in the comment section and tried to overrun it with black on black crime stuff that had nothing to do with Nick Cruz. Because see, they felt like it was making them look bad. It's just like <clears throat> after the Stephen Paddock shooting in Las Vegas, they did the same exact thing. When we were posting our stories, they came to the black section to talk about I mean, the black YouTube channel to talk about black on black crime in Chicago, they did the same thing. Just notice the pattern. This is what I want you to do from now on. There will be more mass shootings because America can't live without them. The next mass shooting that happens and they come in the comments section to post about black on black crime in Chicago, I want all of my moderators to immediately block and wipe out that comment. Do not respond to it because what they're doing is trying to pull you away from the problem, which is white males with guns in the white community and try to attempt to put the spotlight on black people. They've been pulling this for centuries centuries, ladies and gentlemen, they've been doing this. It's time for us to empower ourselves by no longer allowing it. Don't let it ride. So moderators have the ability to block and remove comments. I want you to exercise your abilities when you see this. So if we are talking about mass shootings in America, or we're talking about the opioid epidemic and they come with that black on black crime, I want you to get rid of those comments from now on because we are not talking about black on black crime. So it's not appropriate to bring that to the comment section when we're not even talking about that subject matter. And I want other black YouTube channels to exercise the same thing. If the subject matter has nothing to do with black on black crime, then there's no reason for those posts to be on our channels from white people. So it's time for us to take the bull by the horn. So let's do it. No longer, they, they can't come and permeate the comment section with things that have nothing to do with the subject matter. With things that really is just trying to steer you away from the fact that there's a pathology in this country of white males that only can feel empowered behind a gun. They don't want you to talk about that. They want you to talk about Chicago, which again, is not even the top 10 worst city in America and black on black crime. And as you can see, their drug deaths have 
long outpace black on black crime. White people have no room to talk about anybody's crime in America. They seriously don't. They don't. So it's time that we take full control of our narrative. And white people can do whatever they want. We don't care. But don't bring your whining about black on black crime to us when you know damn well you're not going to do nothing about it. So why do you keep talking about something that you have no intentions on doing anything about? At least here in the black community, we don't deny that we have problems. But y'all try to give out this impression that the whole world is looking at you like gods. And it's simply not true. Your mind is poisoned. Nobody is looking at any of you white people like that. You got to be out of your damn mind. God where? God of the sunburn? Nobody is looking at you like that. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell twice and join me on Black Junction TV and Blackspot.com. And if you can become a patron, please do. Or if you can make a donation to PayPal to support my channel. Peace, family.